Tonight at 11, a legal battle between neighbors is brewing over Lake Erie Beach access. Two dozen homeowners say they've been using a small path to get to the beach now for decades. But now they say two homeowners with beachfront property have blocked that path with a locked gate. So those residents who have been locked out filed a lawsuit. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis tells us homeowners say they're prepared for a long fight in court. Well, leaders here at Bretonall City Hall say they won't comment on pending litigation over beach access on Corning Drive. And the two beachfront property owners involved won't comment as well. But as you're about to see, the other 24 homeowners on Corning have plenty to say. This is heartbreaking, and this is not what should happen in a neighborhood. Amanda Martin's second, her Brattanaw Corning Drive neighbors showed us the signs of protest and anguish posted in front of their homes. Also showing us family pictures of the Lake Erie Beach access they say the neighborhood has enjoyed since the 1950s. Walking down there for almost 30 years, and at 93 years old, that's a big changeover. Corning Drive homeowners like Helen Brown say they were stunned when two beachfront property owners decided to put up this locked gate, no longer allowing the neighborhood to have access to the Lake Erie shoreline using a 10 foot wide path between the two beachfront homes shown in this map with a red line. All of us are still denied access to something that we pay taxes on. It's listed in our deeds. Three Corning Drive homeowners showed News 5 how the beach access path is included in their deeds, but admit only 14 of 24 homes have it listed that way. Homeowners say they didn't want to file a lawsuit, but say talks with the beachfront homeowners didn't get them any progress. We tried to negotiate it. We offered a combination lock where only the neighbors would have the combination. We asked to do mediation. And our answer was a locked gate. And Corning Drive homeowners claim the village of Bradnaw shouldn't have issued a permit for construction of the gate. And the mayor, the mayor used that path. He knows the paths there. They even put a handicap access to that path when they redid the streets. Meanwhile, it's a legal battle Helen Brown hopes will soon end with a neighborly compromise. We all are ordinary God people and we should act that way. And again, the beachfront property owners refused to comment when News 5 reached out to their attorney. But Brenton Hall Mayor John LaCastro says he hopes both sides can come to an amicable settlement and end this ongoing beach battle. Reporting right here in Bratton Hall, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. So if you have a tip for our News 5 investigators, feel free to email or call using the information right there on your screen.